All right, so welcome to this tutorial. This is just simply how to deploy an app or a game from Unity uh, to the HoloLens. So I've already covered how to deploy a regular app, a regular Windows 10 or um, Universal Windows uh, platform app to the HoloLens. Uh, this is a little more involved th with Unity, um, not a whole lot uh, more, but it is a little bit more. Uh, this does not this does not try to teach you anything about Unity. Uh, if you are interested in that, um, then I would highly recommend checking out devgame101.com. Dev D E V Game 101.com. Uh, I have some free tutorials over there um, on how to do that. And I create a game in like 90 minutes. Uh, full games you can follow along with. Uh, but this is just about deploying an app or a game uh, to the HoloLens from Unity. Okay, so I'm making the assumptions you already have a uh, Unity program going. Um, one thing you want to do with your camera, uh, most of the time you actually want your camera to be positioned at zero and zero. Uh, this is just me kind of playing around with some stuff, so I'm leaving that alone for now. Uh, but something you definitely want to change is the clear flags on this. Instead of being skybox, you want to pick solid color and then pick a solid color of black. Uh, for this program, I'd already kind of had that, so it's a non-issue. So just to, so you can see what this is, this is actually a music visualizer. Um, so I hit play. Can I begin? Yes. And this is actually playing inside of Unity. Yes, sir. Um, and it's reading the music file, an MP3 file from uh, Triple E. And then the song's called Insomniac. So you'll be hearing pieces of this throughout. But um, you can see all it does is it, I have a couple of things here. On, when on the hall ends, it'll just be in that mode right there. So obviously, here I can actually have a speed. Uh, but this is what you'll be seeing. If I go at the night, I'm going out on time. I give it out the same thing now like that. Your son that way to me. So let me hit stop on that. Uh, now that's done, I want to go over here to my build settings. And some of my build settings, um, you'll notice that I've already said um, switch to platform. So by default, it might be on PC, Mac, and Linux, whatever. So I picked one in the store and actually told it switch platform. Um, so that now when I'm running it, it ran it as a, you know, it's running it. Um, thinking it's running under Windows Store. Over here, I made sure that I have Universal 10 selected, uh, Direct3D selected. You could pick XAML uh, for this. I'm not doing anything with XAML, so I'm just using straight uh, D3D. And uh, for now, I'm just running it on my local machine. Um, and I do want to generate this Unity C Sharp projects, and this is, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. So it's like that. Uh, next, I hit this Player Settings. When I hit Player Settings over here, you'll notice it brings up for the Windows Store player settings. I can then actually go and let's say I want to pick other settings. Over here, there's a virtual reality support it. I want to check that box. And when I do, Windows Holographic will show up, assuming that you have the right version of Unity. And I have a link uh, to the tools you need uh, to do this. So the right Visual Studio version and the right Unity version. As of right now, um, it is. Unity 5.4 OB14 for because it's the beta dash HTP or the Holland's technical preview, I think is probably what that stands for. Um, so, either way, that is the version of Unity you'll need that or later uh, in order to try this, you'll need Visual Studio Update 2, um, Visual Studio 2015 Update 2 or later. Okay, um, so but once we have this Unity C Sharp project built. We can hit build. It'll then ask us where do we want to put this. So you can just make a new folder. I called mine app. And then, and once I do that, again, you make a new one there. And then select that folder. And what it does, it'll take a little bit longer than it is on mine because I've already done this once. So it's just kind of updating what it needs to since it's already created the stuff beforehand. Uh, but it's you see right here it says creating Visual Studio solution. And that's the important piece because now over here, if I can... Uh, get to it. Let's see which window is it. All right. So here is my um, here's my actual uh, visualizer app, and you see this app folder that I put in. So this this guy here is what I was just fooling with inside Visual Stu inside of Unity. Uh, but now I'm going to go into this app, and we have a totally different solution now. And this solution I already have open, so I can actually um, reload this. 
what I would have done is actually come in here and just double clicked on that visualizer solution okay and you know you have the right one uh, when you actually see the entire thing uh, that's called a uh, visualizer universe windows because this is different than just simply double clicking on a C on a script file so over here I can double click on a script file and say like audio helper um, and that would have opened up Visual Studio and I would have had audio helper here so this is the actual source code uh, for this little game this little app um, but this is just the Visual Studio's integration to Unity so you can use Visual Studio as you're making the code okay I can close this down in order to deploy you need to go through that build step make sure this Unity C Sharp project is there so it will generate all this code inside the folder including the solution file okay then once you open up that solution file this is where you'll see um, what's actually going to be deployed and so it's going to be the universal windows uh, app here goes down the JSON file uh, and what you want to do is make sure that you take it off of ARM your default to ARM change it from ARM to x64 8x86 um, I change it to release so it'll actually run at a decent speed and then I can do it to the remote machine so I need to actually turn on my hollow lens here so get it out of standby mode at least all right so now I have it on my head I'm gonna say uh, remote machine uh, before I do that I'm actually going to open up um, a HoloLens app here so I'm gonna go to uh, the live stream of this guy and cut off the microphone so we don't get that echo all right and so now I'm ready to uh, to stream what we're going to see when I hit deploy okay so I'm gonna go back to uh, the center monitor okay so you can see my thing I hit uh, deployed remote remote machine and then down here you'll see Visual Studio is going to be you know building it and it's going to do it for the release configuration on x86 oh I got deployment errors so so I'm actually um, close out Visual Studio open it back up again we'll try to deploy it after rebooting Visual Studio restarting Visual Studio not rebooting I didn't reboot the computer All right, so it's copying the files. Now I'm going to go over here to my live stream. And just like that. Can I begin? So you can see it actually right here in front of me. I'm sure we're getting both. So let me actually take out device audio. All right. So hopefully that was beneficial. That was me actually deploying uh, the little music visualizer. Uh, from Unity onto the hall and you're able to see uh, just a little bit of it there in front of my computer. Uh, what I end up doing as well is actually went out to my larger space and played it there and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to just end the video uh, with a little bit of that segment uh, playing. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have any issues deploying your uh, you know your apps or games from Unity uh, or even non-Unity apps uh, let me know, and I'll see if I can help out. All right. Can I begin? Yes. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey. 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 Hey.
like many out. Let's go. Yeah. Going in the day. This my only shot. My life could end the day. Yeah, my heart could stop. If I go at the night, I'm going out on time. I give it out. This life ain't all I got. Yo, son, now wait a minute, bruh. I see y'all rockin' with your hands high. Waiting for that beat to take off, they don't wait, so stand by. When I'm breathing bangles, I say, stay my shit, I stand by. Grind gon' shake that beat, drop, land, land, slap. Please let me off my leash. I feel it, I feel it, I'm feeling too good. Like I'm a beast. Like a gorilla who's really in the hood. So I'm going on and on. I'll be wrestling when I'm gone. Rise and grind is what I'm on. That's why I wrote the song. <laughs> Tonight I'm going no play. My life's been this last all night. If I don't wake up in the morning, bro, I'm gonna be alright. Don't couch into the wind. Let go, we bad to go in. No slowing down, we go in. No slowing down, we know him. Pray. Down we go in, no slowing down we go in. Throw caution to the wind, let go we back to go in. No slowing down we go in, no slowing down we know him. Uh, okay, 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 I get it. What's the point of playing the game if you don't win it? Uh, I ain't never spit a sweet 16. I call that a gift, so you know I gotta bring it. Y'all live like minutes is infinite. The time is the money, the white dripping the spinning. Finally found a girl that ain't in no fall all the time, so you know I had to ring it. Oh my, oh god, that ain't common, no good. That's impressive. I'm trying to fight for the cause. Y'all wanna fight in my car. Section. Dang, I don't get it, dog. Like that beat, there's I'll get involved. They said I never be nothing, but I think I still turn out awesome. I ain't in the talk and I just get it done. They wanna get a job, I wanna get a gun. Huh. They wanna get a blunt and get burnt out like me in the sun. Why? I thought the eye was don't sleep now, it's insomnia. Y'all worry about when them joints drop, but you ain't worried about when your body does. Dang. Like mine. Life's over tomorrow. We love it. Yeah, we 